how you doing? So I'm here working on the Pro Max 610 and you know, it's been a long painstaking process, but I decided to start doing a little more tweaks here, getting a little more involved. The squish is getting right in there really close to where I want it. Uh, I might even leave it where it is. It's, it's pretty close to, you know, my goal. Uh, it's not quite where I wanted to go, but it is close enough that I might just leave it. Uh, at least for now, you know, give it a test run. That way, you know, I could continue playing with it a little bit if, if I feel like it needs to be, you know, adjusted a little bit more further down the road. You know what I mean? Because um, if I go, you know, all the way to 20 thousandths and I find I need to make, you know, some adjustments, it's a little harder to do, you know? So right now it is sitting at 30 thousandths and I don't know. I was going to take it closer to 25, but I might leave it here. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I might leave it here just to you know, get a feel for the saw and the wood and you know, see how it performs. I'm looking to make this a really good, well-rounded firewood type of saw. And, and I'm not really looking for something super high RPM. I'm just looking to improve it, make it more of a torquey saw. You know what I mean? Keep it running coal, making it, making a good, reliable firewood saw out of it. But let me show you what I've done so far. So there's what she looks like right now. Um, Squish is sitting at 30 thousandths. Uh, in fact, I'm at that point on the Squish that I had to start getting in and doing the fine tweaks on the bearing pockets, you know, making sure they're all lapped in nice and neat, you know, because from here out, it is it is very small adjustments and I just want to make sure everything you know, just stays right. So. I'm making extremely small adjustments at this point. Now, I did decide to get in here and do a little more exhaust work. Uh, if you're not familiar with these saws, the exhaust ports originally were about here and they, they were straight. It was just a straight line up and down. And what I did is last time I opened it up like this side. Okay, but this time I went in and did a little more work and now the exhaust is looking more like this. So if you look at how it closes down along this edge, look at this side compared to this side. And you can see there's a difference between the two times I worked on it. You see it? I'm trying not to raise it, at least not a whole lot. Just, uh, just a bare minimum. Uh, now, as far as the timing number, it's hard to tell you what timing number it is because of that little lippy thingy they got down there. You know what I mean? Um, I can tell you this point's about here. So right about, so right about here is where I'm at about 20 degrees of blowdown. And if I take it to here, this is about seven, 17 degrees of blowdown, right in this zone. So it's kind of hard to say where my blowdown number is gonna be because it's hard to factor in that little thing they got in there, you know what I mean? But you can see there, I kind of changed the profile from the last time. Uh, remember, this, this used to be straight up and down right here. So it might even been in a little further. It was straight up and down. Um, the first time I did it, I did raise it just a smidge, not a whole lot. But, and let me show you what this thing looks like at bottom dead center. There we are at bottom dead center. So you can see there's you know, the whole bottom of the exhaust port's not really gonna play a factor in this. But I did 
do a little bit of cutting there just to kind of smooth it out, you know. But that's what she looks like. You can see the scratches on the piston there where I was talking last time from it eating fines. Now it's good enough that I'd run it, but Doug donated a piston and rings, so we're gonna run that piston and rings. But for now, I'm just gonna keep this one here for making these adjustments. But that's what the exhaust port's looking like. I'm probably gonna keep it about there and just get the other side looking more like that. I'm trying to get, you know, my blowdown volume, which would be about, say, there. So I'm trying to keep the total volume of blowdown, you know, as much as possible without getting it too out of whack. Uh, I definitely made an improvement for certain. So I'm focusing more on the width than I am the height. I'm trying to get the torque more so than anything. That's why I did the squish adjustment and that's why I set the exhaust like that. Looking for torque more than anything. I haven't decided what to do with the intake yet, but we'll see. So yeah, that's what she looks like right now. Um, you know, I've just been playing with it a little bit at a time. Uh, I, I guess you could say I kind of got bored of doing the squish adjustment and decided to start playing with that exhaust a little bit. That's kind of how this <laughs> the, this work kind of ended up being in, in this position. But I'm still debating on whether or not I should take it further than 30 thousandths. Uh, 25 is probably be best. But, I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm going to put that into it. Uh, the, the amount of time it takes to make these squish adjustments is crazy. <sighs> Absolutely crazy. Like, I'll, uh, you know, I'll sand at it for a while and, you know, go take a, a measurement. And here I've only adjusted, you know, one or two thousandths. Two thousandths usually at the most. And I'll go back and sanding at it for a long time. Check it one maybe two thousandths uh it's usually one thousandth at a time that i'm making you know these adjustments between measurements which is a good thing you know i got to get in there and make sure the bearing pockets are right and everything uh, make sure they stay within you know tolerable whatever you want to call it uh i got to make sure those bearing pockets stay you know pretty cleaned up and uh aren't getting out of whack you know so a thousandth at a time it is it's just, it is what it is. Uh, the metal that this cylinder is made out of, the aluminum, is definitely on the tougher side because it wears out the sandpaper pretty fast. Uh, I've tried wet sandpaper and, you know, all kinds of different kinds of sandpaper. And they, they, they all wear out pretty fast uh, trying to get this off. So, you know, it, it's eating up a lot of sandpaper. But, but that's all right. We're having fun here. And... You know, that's what this is all about. We're just playing with these old saws to have fun. You know, we're not looking to uh, um, win any contests or anything. But I thought you'd like to see where I'm at on this Pro Max 610 and where we're at. Uh, probably the next time I work on it, I'll be at the final squish adjustment if I decide to do more. Uh, but right now she is sitting at 30 thousandths. So I think that I'm pushing 30 thousandths removed already. So, you know, it ain't a bad I idea there. It, uh, it, it'll definitely see an improvement, you know, from what I've done. So, alrighty. So I thought you'd like this little update on where this all sitting and Hey, we'll catch you on the next one later. <laughs>